I am Luis Alberti, and I play the role of Palomino Cañedo. And I am Elmer Beck, and I play the role of Sergei Eisenstein. And the film is uh, Eisenstein in Guanajuato, and it's about the Soviet director Sergei Eisenstein and his time in Mexico in 1931. You must see it. Pájaro carpintero siempre vive apasionado y le replico el jilguero, hombre vive con cuidado. Que siendo yo el carbonero, una vieja me ha tiznado. So, uh, welcome to the Berlinale and to the Teddy Awards to the Queer Film Press of this festival. Um, my first question to you, Louise, would be how do you feel uh, Mexico being represented in this film as a Mexican? Is it, is it weird, is it bizarre a little bit to see like kind of like all these projections onto this country? No, I think, I think it's a good thing that it's happening. You know? we, have, we have many Mexican projects now in the, in the festival. Mm -hmm. So I think it's something to be proud. You know, it means that we are making good things and we are working on, on being better and, and we, are, um, we are now having a place, you know? Because we don't have... You mean a place? In, in the world, no, in, in the, in, on filmmaking, mm -hmm. you know? The, and it's important because, because in Mexico we don't have too much culture, you know? Mm, really? well, well, we do, but, but, but I, mean, I mean, the people doesn't really go to the theater or the museum or the people doesn't really, well, some, some people do, but, but not all the people, it's not the normal. Mm -hmm. You go to a cinema to see, you know, Spider-Man, mm -hmm. that's all. But not like Mexican culture, or like you don't, people don't see that on the screen so much, the representation no. of Mexico. No, no, no. Okay. no. But how do you feel it's represented in that film? Like, do you think it's an interesting perspective, or do you feel like it's a little bit? I think it's a, a beautiful thing. perspective. I think it's beautiful because it, it is very complex, mm -hmm. you know. And I think it's beautiful because it shows the crew. No, the how to say this? Uh, crew that. Crew, my Spanish crew. is not so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what? <laughs> so my English is not also. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean what, me what, Mexico, what is Mexico is a crew. Uh, place, no, it's a hard place, and I think this movie shows it also. Mm -hmm. But it, it, but Peter does it in a beautiful way, mm -hmm. you no, know, with beautiful images and and the the movies and uh, you no know, all the context, which is which is the antagonistic, you no, know, mm -hmm. for 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 the for the story. So I think it's beautiful. Yesterday I came to the premiere with a friend of, of mine, mm -hmm. she's an actress, and, and she told me after the, after the screening, well, I feel proud of Mexico, you know? Mm, and it's like, great. yeah, that's it's great, great. yeah, it's good. Something to be proud of, that's good. Yeah. Um, let's talk about your relationship in, in the film and how you worked on it before <laughs> starting to shoot, or did you work on it? Did, was there some space to experiment and work mm. on that physicality, which plays mm -hmm. a major role too? Well, of course, that was something we started discussing quite early on because we all knew, and that's what Peter also said. Like, okay, you, you listen to me, and there's this scene, and I need it, like, I need like it to be this. like, yeah, like yeah. this. Like this. I need, so, I need right. to see, I need to see this. Yeah. yeah. So, of course, when we met each other, I think we started talking about it, like, together. But like of course, how? Like, what did you what say? are we going to do? <laughs> what are we going to do? And uh, talking to Peter, and we had like, well, we had like uh, one. Uh, I think we rehearsed it one time. Right? Yeah, like yeah, we yeah. Just we just went had, through we what's going to happen. Yeah. But was it really technical, or was there some space to like imagine and like it to was develop the sensuality too? Wow, well, because we did it. I think it's in one take, no? Like the actual one, one take. take. And so we actually I just didn't did want it. to to do two takes. And <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> but uh, I, how much improv? I mean, he said that okay, it was technical in the sense that he said he needs this, this, and then this. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. We knew that. Yeah, it's going going to be like yeah. this, and you, and I'm going yeah. to do like this, and then I do this, and then and with what's my cue? And uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. what do you think about uh, this? Yeah, no, yeah. That, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I think I mean. It, I, I mean, it's, it's mostly you that has to do the work, so you're like in you know, the lines and everything. No, but I mean, in the situations yeah. that you had to like. But of course, there was a thing we we discussed, and of course, I think. Yeah. But it no, was we a talked, very. Yeah, we, we talked, talked a lot. A lot, a lot about, about that. that yeah. Yes, 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 a lot. A lot because 
Well, it's important, no? It's about yeah. intimacy and it's yeah. about your body and it's yeah. about, you know, the, your boundaries or yeah. not. And yeah. it's about your technique also as an actor, no? How, how do you work? How do you do something like this? And, and, and we, yeah, yeah. we need to, to, <clears throat> to get together there, no? Yeah. To, yeah. to find each other, the, to make it possible. Mm -hmm. So what made you choose to, I mean, you were chosen, I guess, for the role, but like, why were you interested and why, why did you uh, Well, for me, the, to do it? the simple qu answer is Peter Greenaway, of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, when Peter Greenaway calls, I, I, I love Peter Greenaway's work from before, so mm -hmm. that was the first. And then, of course, it was like when I got the part, it's, it was so beautifully written. So, I mean, it's, I mean, it's the best thing I ever offered to me. So, I mean, I, there's so many reasons. I, there's not a, one reason. I mean, there are all the reasons. There was not a reason not to do it, I think. Mm -hmm. What is it about Eisenstein that fascinates you or um, inspires you? No? Well, for me, the ins most inspiring thing was the combination that he's so like intelligent and so knowledgeable, and he spoke five languages. I think he knew more languages than that. And then, at the same time, this is also how Peter wrote him, like, but then sometimes very sensitive and, in a way, like childlike, in a way. Yeah. And this combination of these two like opposites was the most inspiring thing for me. But do you think like all these you know projections about death and, and rebirth and, and life uh, about Mexico are they true or is it more like a Western fantasy in a way that your country is you know <laughs> used as yeah no to no project I, I think it's I think it's it's in the right place <clears throat> it is in the right place I mean Peter is very intelligent he mm -hmm. he is he's really looking Mexico as as it is I mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. I think you know, this, all this death stuff. He he's not putting in, putting it there just like a folkloric thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. da, da, da. No, it's not like that in this movie. You have the mummies. You have, you know, and 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 you know, some scenes in which we are talking about that and explaining the relationship with 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 this tradition. And and I think it's quite close to the reality. So how, how do you experience it in Mexico? Like, did you, do, you, do you follow those traditions or do you believe in all of that? Like I don't. Nah, I don't. But, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, but I liked it. I like it. And when I was a child, I used to. No, because mm -hmm. because it, it is beautiful. It's supposed that, that your dead grandfather or, you know, the dead people from your family or your dead friend or, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. dead people that you loved. It's supposed that they come this the day of the death. Mm -hmm. It's supposed that they come mm -hmm. to eat with you. Mm -hmm. So you, you put an offer mm -hmm. with 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 all the things that person liked more, mm -hmm. like tequila, mole, you know, tamales, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Mexican food and uh, uh, cigarettes and everything. You put everything there and you put this this um, orange flowers, the mm -hmm. Sempasuchi, mm -hmm. because that, that flower is an ancient flower that it's supposed to kind of open, open another, the other um, dimension. Dimensions, yeah. No? So, yeah. so you, put, you put a road of flowers so the deaf people can come with in, in, this, in this road mm -hmm. up to you and you can talk to them and you can be with them so that's why it's a party because you are happy to be again mm -hmm. with your dead mother, or, mm -hmm. you know. But it doesn't in mean contact with them. Or yeah, yeah. It's it's kind of you have them close, mm -hmm. and I think Peter explains it quite yeah good. How would you describe the the current situation of like of sexual diversity and and the way you can use your like choose your sexual preferences? In Mexico today, no, no, I didn't get it. But like, by talking about hom homosexuality or queer identities and all these things, how is it being discussed in Mexico today? As a Mexican, would you say that it's very easy and simple to just like choose no. whoever you want to sleep no, with and course. like you know? No, 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 of course it is not. Of okay. course it is not. I mean, we have we have gay marriages. We have it's legal in Mexico mm -hmm. in Mexico City. Mm -hmm. But for the society, it's still the same as it has been all the history. Mm -hmm. People more, people less. You know? mm -hmm. There are some gay guys who were like, I'm gay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, like, yeah. 
big gay, ¿no? And there are people we, we, which is like, I'm gay, fuck. No, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like that, it's still being like that, ¿no? And, and in México we have a lot of, a lot of uh, gays in the closet, married. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, mm -hmm. this is a very, sorry, but this is, I think, a very Mexican situation because, because the guys get married and then they fuck with young guys, you know, mm -hmm. and, and but they have kids and, mm -hmm. and 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 I think the question is what is better? To be what honest, better? no? To be honest or to lie your wife and your children and to have a double life and to be like suffering and hurting yourself and other mm -hmm. and other people they like, know. What is better? What do you I think know, is better? I think I think it's better to be honest. Mm -hmm. You're straight, you're straight. If you're gay, you're gay. If you like everything, you like everything. You like everything. Um, how did you approach Eisenstein's sexuality? Did you think about his sexuality or like the way he, you know, like would define it or was that not too important for you when you were... Of course, it was very important. Of course, the way it's written also. So it was a deep thing. Well, I, I was, I approached it in the way that I'm, I'm thinking about like sexuality also, if you have it suppressed, I mean, if you cannot live without and mm. what kind of pain that creates mm. and trying to deny that and how that comes out in, in the energy and in the... I know, because of course the, the, the power of sexuality is so huge. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking about what does it do to a person if you trying to suppress that. So that was something I yeah I thought about a lot, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you think it shows in the film? Or like what what's Well, I think it shows in the way that I think there's a, like a uh, in the beginning or at least I think it's more like energetic, more like that it, it becomes that you can see a change, at least I hope so, and that's what I was going for, <laughs> that you can see a change in a, a humbleness, a more closer to life, that something like, you know, mm. changes in him in that mm. sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. What was the reaction of the audience yesterday? Did you, you didn't talk to them, I guess, there's no Q&As, but no. like, could you feel, yeah. what was the atmosphere very like in that? Very positive, no? Very. It yeah. felt very good and... Yes, it was. People yeah. were happy and laughing. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. We were like fucking and then laughing. <laughs> and okay. people were happy yeah, but and... Uh, there was a lightness also in the movie. I saw it last night. That was so nice. The, 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 the center is like warm and a bit funny. So that also made... Because of course I also thought, that, okay, we have this huge scene, you know. How is people going to react to that? But then it, the way it came in, it was light and it went to a, like a... Yeah, I think it, it worked very well. And I think Peter knew that, but... We weren't maybe sure how it's gonna yeah. work out. Yeah, Peter, and of course, I was. Peter did that. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, he knows everything yeah, he since knows. the very beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, and, and and you know when 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 people is applauding just because you applaud, mm -hmm. and when people is really <laughs> saying, yeah. "Oh wow, yeah, yeah. You mm -hmm. know, and, and it was a feeling. I think. I think, and I think it was surprising, and yeah. also for pe people also. I think because it's a little bit different movie from Peter Greenaway also, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's a, I don't know, or, or, and I think in a nice way, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Great, thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy thank the you. festival, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very thank much. You, thank you, thank you.